Hey everybody, welcome to a Clickstaff unboxing of the X of Swords set. Thanks to WizKids for sending us this great unboxing. Um, it'll be pre-releases in about two weeks. Yep. Uh, so, set release August 3rd August in about 3rd. a month. Yep. Um, so as you can see on your table in front of you, in front of us, uh, I guess it's in front of y'all too, um, we have everything unboxed. Yeah, this is... Uh, so due to technical difficulties, uh, the unboxing uh, was lost. So this is take two. So this is take two. So you missed our raw reaction of the video, mm -hmm. but we do have the highlights of everything to go over. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna get behind the camera. I wanna go over each booster, uh, go over our legacy card, go over the play at home kit, go over the mini game, um, and Jason and I are just going to talk about it. So, folks, showbiz, stuff happens. Yep. Um, not much that we can do about it now, uh, but go on the ride with us. We've got the boosters in order of the brick that we had opened them up, and um, so we've got everything to show you. We got it all in order, all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm going to get behind the camera and kind of go over everything and Jason and I'll talk about it. Yep. So we're really we're really excited about the brick. We're really excited about the set. Um, but sometimes you have to call an audible. So that's what we did. So our legacy card um, was previously shown. Um, Leech uh, was the card selected by Adam Freeman for the for winning the Silver Age event in the 2021. Um, Hero Clicks for Huntington Scott Porter event. Uh, so that is uh, also on our, on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash click stuff. Um, and you can see uh, what that does. Main thing is adjacent characters can't use powers. They can use abilities, they can use traits, but they can't use any uh, standard powers or white box powers. Uh, the map in the play at home kit is Limbo which is a indoor elevated map yeah. with a little bit of blocking. Oh, very little. Very little blocking. And then the other side of the map is, is Otherworld other Castle Outdoor. Um, Reprint of the House of X map. Yep. Yeah. Which, as we noted in the first recording, we'll note in this one, um, the uh, international players did not get a... A lot of them did not get a chance to get the House of, House of X play at home kit. Um so we'll take a we'll take a reprint here for worldwide availability. Yeah, and Limbo might be a reprint. I can't remember now that I think about it. It might have been from like AVX. It might have been. I don't remember that one myself. I can't remember. But it could be. Uh, but then in the mini game, we've got Otherworld, Starlight, Citadel, Otherworld, Bespoke, Blightspoke Outdoor, and Otherworld Shadow of the Shadow of the Starlight Citadel. Outdoor. And this is a little different. Uh, we have one six tile map, one four tile map, and one two tile map. Right. So probably only the six tile one will be modern legal. Um, but uh, again, in the mini game characters, uh, you've got your standard dials uh, and then your more complex dials. Um, nothing too much of a standout there because I think that's been shown in a couple other unboxings. So. Uh, on to the boosters. This won't be a very long unboxing compared to normal. Um, but um, our booster number one included Storm, Gorgon, Magic, Peeper, Abigail Brand, Super Rare, and the King of Swords, which is Brew the Brood holding a giant sword. Um, now the big thing is Peeper, OP, Abigail Brand, she makes sword and X-Men, the same keyword, mm -hmm. and she allows folks that can use the X-Men team ability uh, to use the shield team ability, right. which is really huge for sword. Um, so we'll show the back of her cards. Just go over the back of these cards, too. So, and then the King of Swords, when the character hits with an attack roll of doubles after resolutions, remove an action token from them. Booster number two 
We got the Seven of Pentacles, which is Black Tom Cassidy. Uh, characters cannot use improved team abil improved abilities, and characters that can use plasticity have uh, free move half speed. Um, we got the Captain Britain Super Rare with the Starlight Sword, which was Blades, Claws, Fangs. When this character uses it after resolutions, you may place the target character a number of squares away from their current square equal to the D6 result. Um, White Priestess, Iceman, Magic, Uncommon, Magneto. And then we'll show the back of those cards. Captain Britain was cool, right, Jason? Yeah, she was pretty fun. Uh, she's got a 30-point dial. Uh, and as we noted, all of the Captain Britons get to fly, we think, yeah. due to their magical ability of being Captain Britain. Um, I feel like we had more dual dial uh, characters, like yes. four point dial, split dial uh, characters, split dial characters yep. that we normally would get. Yep, absolutely. As well in this brick. Um, but then booster number three, we got the unique Kate Pride. Uh, Gorgon, Sink, Danny, Moonstar, Solemn, and then the Nine of Wands, which is when this character uses Empower. When a character uses Empower, also modify the attacker's attack plus one, which I realize is yeah. like a, a close combat uh, expert on yeah. top of that. So yeah, it's, it's a really like, solid card. Really solid card. So, Jason, I might have you flip those cards okay. over. Uh, as we get a little bit closer to you on these. Kate Bishop uh, is a mission point piece. She makes a pog. You rescue those pogs and bring them back to your starting area and score mission points. So right. It's a pretty unique figure. Yeah. And it is unique. I mean, yeah. Uh, so characters, Other than being literally unique, yeah. Right. So <laughs> characters with the Marauders keyword, if they're in an opposing start zone, have free generate a stranded mutant. If you get that stranded mutant back to your start zone, as the controller playing the Marauders, you can get four mission points. So, uh, pretty unique way to do mission points um, as well, and a pretty strong figure also. Uh, so, booster number four, we got the rare Magneto um, Bishop. Tarot. Iceman and Danny Moonstar. And uh, then we got the Strength um, Tarot card. Uh, attack rolls of 1-1 one, one are not critical misses, and attack rolls of doubles that would hit are critical hits. I like that card a yeah. lot because we were talking about uh, how double ones, sometimes you can hit with double ones, uh, and if it's not a critical hit, or if it's not, uh, it's not a critical miss, then it becomes a critical hit, which is really neat. You know, tarot is a is a cool figure. She can help you manipulate your tarot card deck. It lets you draw two instead of one. Well, you draw two, pick one, yep. and file it to the bottom of your deck. So she's helping you out quite a bit there. Uh, so then booster number five, um, we got. I had to read them all for me. Omega Sentinel. We have Gorgon, Lockheed, Cipher, and the Rare Prime, Iska the Unbeaten. Yeah, I was Along saying Ice Bud. You never corrected me. I don't, think. I don't know which. I don't know who's right. I don't know either. Uh, and then the Mercy Sword that she comes with here. So Mercy has uh, Blades, Claws, Fangs, and uh, it is once per turn while this character is attack in attack is attacking me. Reroll the attack. So she lets you reroll opposing attacks against her. Right. And then Iska had the friendly rally die. Um, and then her rolls of 4-4 four, four are critical hits. Uh, then read off her stop click on high skill, the unbeaten. Her stop click says, toughness, super senses. And when she uses it, increase the result by plus one for each four in the attack roll. So her 4-4s four, are criticals, and then opposing 4-4s four, let her have a 3-6 three, three, super senses on her stop click. She loves 4s. Yeah, so I'll flip those over, Jason. And we've got a... We've got a 4K view on these cards, folks, so uh, we'll do another little shot of all the sculpts and everything, too, here as we go through it. Um, so I'm trying to do my best steady cam as we got through go through the unboxing here. 
Um, and then back down here, right? Yep. We were super excited about booster number six, yep. and we're still super excited. We got, we got Juggernaut Construct. The Danger Room Juggernaut Construct. Tyler Spee's 2018 World Championship Sculpt as a Danger Room Construct. Looks amazing. Uh, then we got Sebastian Shaw, the Fury Roulette Cyclops Uncommon with the Recruiter trait. Um, Sebastian, of course, he gets really stronger as he goes down the dial. Um, with all of them, got the, the Danger Room Construct trait that we're used to. Um, and then when the character KOs Sebastian, uh, the attacker can't modif positively modify their attack values, combat values when That's attacking really him. That's really good. Um, but for 30 points, he's kind of hard to, he's kind of easy to ignore until mm -hmm. the very end, I think. Unfortunately, yeah. But then Juggernaut has a full movement charge, essentially. Um, ignores blocking for movement. Uh, and then when Juggernaut, he has Leap Climb, and then when Juggernaut is giving a move action after resolutions, he may make a close attack. And then, so, and then Juggernaut goes down into uh, Flurry, Battle Fury, Super Strength, but uh, the full movement uh, charge with Leap Climb, essentially, full movement charge, essentially, but with uh, Leap Climb, um... He can make a quake. Now they only take one damage, but he would still be sending two, so he can get around some reducers. Uh, and then when Juggernaut is KO'd by an opposing character for the rest of that game, that character can use invulnerability. So then in our Seventh booster, we pulled Nimrod the Lesser, Mystique Construct, Cyclops, Orcus Soldier, Savalfly Vampire. Uh, Nimrod the Lesser is also a mission point figure. Uh, friendly attack rolls of one. Remove one of Nimrod the Lesser's rally die to generate up to two Nimrod bystanders, maximum two. Um, and then power action, remove any number of rally dies from friendly characters. For each two dice removed this way, gained one mission point. Uh, and then his pogs that he makes have attack rolls on a six, and that trait just gains rally die for Nimrod to remove. So flip all these over real quick. And then Mystique. I like her as a tie-up piece, right, Jason? She's one of the best tie-up pieces probably in modern. Yeah. Yeah, plasticity, plasticity. super senses. Shape, shape change. Brotherhood, team mobility. And precision she, strike, right, right? So she can keep pecking away at you. Right. Yeah, one damage at a time is all she's going to take. So. Right. And then one damage at a time is all she's dealing, but she's got precision strike, which helps out a lot. And then in booster eight, we pulled Jean Grey. Not, not a danger in Not a danger in construct. Darwin... Honey Badger, who's making the Jonathan Pog, Orcus Soldier, and the White Priestess, and another tarot card. Right. Which is e a High Priestesses once per turn. Each player may reroll a single D6 in a friendly character's roll, including a single D6 in an attack roll. So you mind flipping those over for us, Jason? Get some of these shots. Shot of some of these. Figures while he's flipping those over. A little bit unconventional unboxing, folks, but appreciate y'all staying with us here through our technical difficulties tonight or this morning for y'all when this goes up. So, booster number nine. Go for it, Jason. Yeah, we got uh, Uncommon Bishop, the Recruiter Cyclops, Lockheed. The Fury, and this time we got Rare Wolverine, unique, along with the Miramasa Blade. Miramasa Blade is probably what you really want to know about here. Uh, it has blades, and then when this character uses it and rolls a 1 through 3, the hit character can't use defense powers until the beginning of your turn. It's an indestructible light equipment, uh, unequipped rob, a really good sword. And then the Wolverine comes back yeah. from hell. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll let you read his trait there. 
uh, super powerful. Yeah, when Wolverine, uh, this is one of those characters that goes off the board and comes back potentially. Uh, when Wolverine would be KO'd by an opposing effect, it said, don't stop turning the dial and keep turning it for the damage taken up to click 12, and then place him on his card. At the beginning of your turn, if Wolverine's on his card, heal him a click. If click number five is revealed, your opponent places him within four squares of a friendly character. If no other friendly characters are on the map sh that share a keyword with Wolverine while he's on his card, KO him, protected pulse wave. Does he have battle fear on his last click? He does not. He has empower, regen, toughness. So he could potentially heal back up. Well, no, I get that, but if you mind control him and then he critical misses on his last click, mm -hmm. he's just KO'd. And he has improved uh, movement characters. Yeah, if you're going to hit this guy, you want to hit him way past his last click mm -hmm. so that potentially he does not come back. Right. Um, if you just barely KO him, then he could be right back in your face. Right. And then our last booster. And we got the Uncommon Cable, uh, Common Colossus, the Green Priestess, the Common Storm, and the Rare Pyro, who's making Flame Constructs. And we also got our last tarot card, uh, the Five of Cups. It gives you a plus three instead of plus two with Energy Shield Deflection. Uh, Colossus is a uh, support character who can heal you this time, uh, which is kind of unconventional for him. Nice look at a di different look at the character. And flip those over. All right, folks. Well, I appreciate uh, y'all sticking around for this little bit unconventional unboxing. I'm going to do one last shot of all of the sculpts here. Um, you know, a little bit different, but... Uh, Appreciate you sticking with us here and sticking around through this. Things happen. Life happens. Uh, but check out this set coming out. Check out shopwizkids.com for this set or your friendly local game store. And I'm really looking forward to this set. Yeah. Any last final thoughts here, Jason? Uh, I'm happy with the distribution of the tarot cards. We got six out of the brick. Uh, we got three equipments in the brick. Uh, so I'm happy that they were getting that much extra value in the boosters. Mm -hmm. uh, that was, I know that was a worry of a lot of people, how many tarot cards are we going to get? But uh, they did really good with uh, supplying a good amount in a brick. Yeah, I, I agree. Like. Now we're supposed to get, I guess one thing we didn't check, we're supposed to get tarot cards in the mini game. Oh yeah, tarot cards in the mini game. That's yeah, right. I don't we guess we took a look at those. We can. Because uh, we didn't take a look at those originally. Um, yep, here they are. So, the tarot cards in the mini game to round out this video. You get the Devil, the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. And the Four of Wands. And thanks everybody for watching this video. Thanks everybody for listening to Click Stuff. Watching Click Stuff in this case. We'll talk to y'all next time. Later.